Hello everybody! I'm your friendly neighbor, hi man, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and Thievers Racunas. When we last left off, we were on that platform over there, but when I restarted the game up, it started me all the way over there, and when I tried to get back up there, it won't allow me to get back up there. So now I'm just missing the jump and dying a horrible death. And that was my last life, last life wasn't it? And that's how you start off an episode, folks. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this is the Central Lab area. Look at this beautiful priceless statue. Really hope it's not worth a lot of money. Ah, oh, damn it, I thought I could destroy it. Oh well. Let's get started on the first level into the machine. So that looks like a giant wind turbine, and oh geez, this already looks fun. Oh, you know, I was thinking about just like getting a nice tan line, you know, maybe uh, trimming off a couple pounds in calories. So I think this has been little commentary and mostly just sound effects so far. Oh, jeez. Right, I gotta be looking for those uh, clues. Is there any others back here? Nah, right? Okay. It's typically 20 in each area? 30, oh, it's 30 in this area. Alright. I think it's anywhere from like 20 to 40. I totally did not listen to what Bentley said. I'm sure it wasn't important. Maybe it's something to do with the fire! No commentary. So, do, 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 do. Oh, hold on a second. Alright, you don't have to tell me every single time that I try to do this. You know, what what constitutes something is super sneaky? Is it the sound effect right here? I really want to know. I really wish you could read the clue bottles. I want to know how he pieces that together. I wonder if it's just like a cipher to a code, or if it's just something that says like... Exactly those words, and he's just fucking around. We really don't need those clues. He can just hack the system, but he wants Sly to do extra menial work. Just to keep him away from the from the hideout. Okay, now this part's a little bit difficult because you have to hit them in one bounce, or oh, they'll just fall right down. Never mind. The the ones up top you gotta hit. Yeah, there we go. Now the other ones just fell down, and these are your extra lives. So Sly has a slight, small little hologram of his head just randomly floating, and it gives him an extra life. That's gonna be that's gonna be like horrifying to see. But like, uh, B Bentley, they have a hologram of my skull. They might know we're coming. This game is such great, like, just background music. It's like, you could completely ignore it, but it's just like, it has like some nice mood. I've seen this in an episode of Doctor Who before. So, either we have to turn off the thing, or I have to phase through it, using my special Time Lord abilities, and never reference it ever again, because that would just get rid of some awesome plot devices. <laughs> Seriously, if you watch Doctor Who, in the second episode of the new series, of a, uh, well, the reboot series, like season one, with Christopher Eccleston, like, he's on the ship, and he has to, like, get through, like, those turbine blades, and because it's going so fast, he just, like, phases through them, and that's never referenced ever again. Like, never again does the Doctor ever try to do that. It's like, that, that that's actually a kind of cool ability that could have come in handy on numerous occasions, but I guess it was just used to that one episode, because they needed a convenient plot device. <laughs> Did I miss any bottles? No. But yeah, does anybody know any explanation for that? Because I found that weird that it was, like, never brought up ever again. Oh, dear. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. We're good. Thank God Sly's a master jumping. <laughs> that guy just got set her off. And if you don't know what the reference that is, that's a spoiler, so don't go try to look it up. Unless you don't give a crap and I'll follow me, so in which case, knock your out. Self out. 
It was part of one of the most saddest scenes, apparently, in gaming history. See, it's one of those moments where it's like, people always say, like, oh my god, it's one of the saddest moments. But, like, at the time, I guess it was. But, like, watching that scene now, like, when you already know what the, spo like, what the spoiler is, it, it's just, like, not... Like, yeah, it's sad, but it's not, like, tear-worthy. I mean, trust me. Games have teared me up before. It's not like I'm some heartless asshole that doesn't give a crap about games. There are numerous games that have made me cry. But I miss those fracking... Mmm... Crap. Alright, I gotta climb back up there. But yeah, Eris... Oh, well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> didn't do it for me. I don't know. But again, like I said, I... Actually, I haven't really got... I actually haven't even played that scene. I just, like, watched it. So I guess if I had gotten, like, invested into the game and everything, then I'm sure it would have been pretty sad. But, yeah. That's just one of those great, like, chakra moments in history that was been forever ruined for me, and I will never be shocked by it. Same thing with Knights of the Old Republic. If you guys... What am I doing with this? Oh, okay. If you guys ever played Knights of the Republic into the spoiler, like, you know, like, that's, like, a truly shocking moment. But, like, it's one of those things that's, like, it's too late for me to get, like, shocked by it now. I've just been talking about a lot of spoilers in other games and haven't been focusing much on this. I think there's two in each of these. There we go. So now we got this clue. And what's in this area? I think this safe has got the roll technique? I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try 227. I was close. Kind of. Shut up. I was close with the 3 and the 7. Right? Whatever. So let's see, how many pages of the TV screen is there? Because I think there's 7 stages in each world. There's 5 worlds. Oh, nice, the Raccoon World. I was right. 7 worlds. 1 page in each of those worlds. It's at least 35 pages, and then you get one for each book, so that's 40. That's, I guess that's a decent sized book. That would have We just have to get it through this. Oh boy. Um, I think I have to go up for that part. So, let's walk around here. See, so, yeah, I was thinking, like, I got through the Jack and Daxter series surprisingly. M I got through a much faster than I thought it would. It was what 26 episodes, like 25 numbered. But oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, that got stuck. Cool. But um, yeah, that, I got through that. What is the episode? That was pretty fast. This one, it seems like it's probably gonna be like one episode per level. So this could probably take a while. Nice. I'm seeing this as at least a 30 episode series. At least. Because some levels might be shorter. But th like this one, this was about 9 10 minutes. Uh, is there any short level? Or should I just. Exp no, there's really not much to explore. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's do a second level. Yeah, don't worry about those guards like getting alerted. It's not like they alert other people. It's really nothing that bad. High class heist. Oh man, I guess I gotta go get my suit. Because this is a classy establishment. Oh, this is a long level. Oh boy. But there's so much to smash! High security? So they blow the traps around it? Hi oh! Oh dear. I don't think there's any, uh, clues in this first area. Roll! Oh my god! Well, that's the roll, and as you can see, it nearly got me killed. There we go. Alright, now I'll go back and look. I don't think there was any clue. How do I have two clues already? Wait, 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 wait. I already have two clues. When the hell did I get those? Did I seriously collect two clues? What? Oh man, look at that beautiful 
painting of alien Venus. And who could you forget Judge Lizard? And Blue Guy. Alright. Done. Oh, and Creepy Lisa, of course. Vaz with the face on it. This is, this is a beautiful art collection, I must say. Metropolitan. It's got nothing on this. Oh! Whoopsies! I got to turn that alarm off. Hi, oh, jump! Normally I try sneaking around, but uh, that didn't go quite as planned. <laughs> oh. Whoops! I think this is a low level, but it's a really just small area. See, there's the safe, and that's like the end area over there already. But it just takes a while. Mostly because I don't remember where all the clue bottles are. But they do bunch them all together. That's why I don't understand. Why is it like 30? It's like they just give you like bunches of like three or two, three, four at a time. So just like make it 20 and just make it like one in each area. Make it seem difficult to get, actually. That's one thing they could have improved upon with this. And it's a pretty small, like, suggestion, but... Oh, 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 oh boy. That almost ended in death. To all mankind. It's fun smashing Riley bus statues. Why do they call them bus? When it, like, the... Those, like, statues that are actually just, like, the torso and above. Why do they call them busts? Is it because they only show the, the bust? Maybe? Is that how they got like that term? I'm done. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop talking now. <laughs> Whoop! That sounds like a Looney Tunes theme song shit about to play. Whoop! This video is removed for copyright infringement. Damn it. Oh, damn. Double damn it. Okay, sorry about that. Let's carry on. Alright, we gotta sneak around getting this. So, um, I just noticed that my laptop is recording with the wrong microphone. Like, I've got my Snowball microphone plugged in, but it's recording with my webcam, so the audio quality is probably pretty crappy right now. Um, I apologize. That'll probably that should be fixed by next episode. Uh, yeah, just have to deal with it for now, I guess. Deal with it! I just put sunglasses on just to show you how much I mean about this deal with it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I wonder what happens if you get hit by the spotlight. Does it like... Actually, I don't know. I don't think I've ever been hit by a spotlight before after I turn red. Oh, nice. I got it. Now I gotta run all the way back around to get to the stupid safe. Oh, no, I don't. I just jumped down here. But I have to come all the way back around to get back to there anyway. Ah, man. Using the wrong microphone, got to backtrack a bunch. Sly's really good at rolling. This is the worst day ever. Alright, let's guess. Uh, 427. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I, that one was... Honestly, just a pure guess. That was pretty close. 427, 437. Why do I always say I keep missing up my 2 and 3s and 6 and 7s? These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire. Oh my god. Oh, this is the thing that uh shows you where all the bottles are. Into your binoc like you have to use your binocular and it'll show like green arrows show like where the clues are. I really don't use it that much. Because, you know, I'm just so awesome a player that I can just figure out what the clues are just based upon the gameplay design and probably going into the minds of the thinkers of the game and just be like, oh, maybe we could be here, here, here. Get all that? Excellent. Let's go. Let's finish up this level and get rid of this crappy audio quality. Oh, and by the way, you can see how his horseshoe is now gold. It's made of gold, baby. Um, he cannot take two hits, so, yeah. So I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> That's a reference to a movie that I don't know what it is. I think it, it might be Caddyshack. It might be. 
I don't remember Caddyshack, but I do remember like certain lines from it apparently, so yeah. Got this key, and this will finish up this level, and also this episode. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode and the crappy audio quality, click that thumbs up button down below. Also, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box, because where else would you put it? So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.